Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today in this tutorial, we'll be revisiting an older tutorial of mine, and that is the door typography effect. And this is what my final outcome was today. I am very impressed with the results, and I hope you are. Uh, the last one I did was quite a while back, and I didn't know as much about Blender as I do now, and there's still heaps to learn, but... I think I'd revisit this and so this is uh, the door typography effect uh, version 2 so let's just have a look in what I've got in blender here so this is just the quick scene setup as you can see I've made a light room almost and of course position the camera and then the doors down here and if we just pop into the compositing um, I've just got some basic nodes uh, going along here and the final result if you didn't notice has a bluish tinge at the background that isn't a material that's just the color balance nodes working its way and I've added a bit of a glow so it just glows around here as you can see anyway let's get started so we're going to go file new and we're going to reload the startup file by del first thing we're going to do is delete our lamp and our cube and insert some text click RX 90 and then hit tab and then we're going to write door all caps we're then going over to our font properties or text properties and I'm just going to select the font that I used. Any font will do. I'm going to use Gil Sans Ultra Bold and then I'm just going to create an extrusion. Something like that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit our uh, Shift A and I'm going to add a plane and scale this plane to the uh, size of the grid here. Now, I'm just going to hit O or zero on my numpad, to go to my camera view and hit Shift Ed, Shift F, and it goes into a flying mode. I'm just going to position my camera like so. Okay. So now that my camera is positioned, I've got my plane and my uh, text. I'm going to work on the Lightroom quickly. Actually, work on the Lightroom background first, and then we'll do the lighting after we've made the door. So the first thing to do is to go into your edit mode and hit Shift uh, Control Tab, and I'm going to hit the edge. I'm going to select this edge here. Go into Front View, Orthographic Mode, and I'm going to hit E. Z and that's going to extrude up on the Z axis. So we've got this surface like so. Let's just lift it up a bit more. Now, the next thing into making this uh, background here is to select this uh, edge here and we're going to hit W, bevel. And that's going to bevel it like so. I'm going to create a bevel like that and I'm going to hit. W again, and I'm going to subdivide it smoothly around six times, and then I'm going to get out of edit mode and hit shading smooth. So now we've got this uh, background here, which we're then going to go into camera, and then we're going to hit RZ, still selecting our background, and rotate it so we don't get any of the grey. like so. The background is looking nice. There we go. Now let's work on our door. Uh, first step to doing the door is we need to create this text into a mesh. To do this we're going to hit Alt C Mesh from Curve, Meta, Surf, or Text. So this makes it a mesh that we can edit easily. Now we're going to make a Boolean cut into it. So to do this, we're going to add a cube. And this cube is going to be the size of our door. So I'm going to go into Front View, Wireframe Mode, and I'm going to scale it up. And the door size, and scale it. go into this way and scale it across like so. 
The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the modifiers panel on us with our door text selected and I'm going to hit boolean. I'm then going to select the object that it's going to intersect or interact with and I'm going to hit cube and change the operation to difference then click apply. And that as you can see has made a nice uh, cut into our cube here, into our text. Now, using the same cube, I'm going to go into top mode and make a door with it, scaling on the Y axis and Z axis, X axis to create a door shape. There we go, that's our door. Now we've got that out of the way, let's set up the lighting. We're going to add a plane and we're just going to scale it slightly. We're then going to go into, I'm going to just scale it on, uh, rotate it on the x axis so it gets an angle like that. And we're going to use this one as our front lamp. So we're going to position this to the front. We're then going to shift D and G to move it. This is going to be our right lamp. Shift D again, G to move, scale this one down and scale and rotate on Z. Z axis, so it's facing the back. Now make sure these are all in correspondence with the uh, camera, not the text. and lift this light up slightly so it can't be seen. Now let's set up some materials. Selecting the door we're going to go over to the materials pane and change us to cycles render as we usually do and I'm just going to select this as the white material and the door will stay white along with the physical door. The next thing I'm going to do is set that to white as well and now all the white elements are complete. Selecting the door again, create a new material, and we're going to call this door light. I'm going to select the surface to emission and the color to a pale yellow something, like so, and setting the strength to 4. I'm then going to select our, I'm going to edit mode on our text, hitting control tab to select face mode, and I'm going to select this face here. I'm going to assign the door light to that color, to that material, sorry. Now, the last thing to do is set up materials for our lamps. For both all the lamps, I'm going to create a new material and call this the light material. And it's just going to be a white emission shader, like so, and set this to all of them. We're also going to set the strength to four. Now, let's give it a quick render. And the results are pretty good. I'm quite happy with the lighting and it's all looking good. Now, let's render this out quickly. I'm only using 10 samples so it renders reasonably fast. Now, I'm going to go into compositing. I'm going to go use nodes and of course backdrop. Render it out again. And add a viewer node. leave my composite away. So now we've got our door typography render ready. We're going to input a curves adjustment adjustment, but I say adjustment layer, Photoshop. And we're just going to edit some of the contrast here. Just so we're creating some shadows down there and emphasizing our light and highlights. Now we're also going to add a color balance and I'm going to shift all of my little nodes to bluish. We don't want it too blue. There we go. That's kind of nice. Now, the last node I'm pretty sure is the brightness and contrast and I just Like using this, it creates a nice simple 
effect and of course adding a glare just to create some more light in our uh, door and change it from streaks to fog glow and you can adjust the uh, settings as you please and that is the color correction done. I'm sure you'll be able to add your own vignette to that. But uh, that's my color correction done anyway. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. And I shall hope you enjoyed it. And I shall catch you in my next video.